Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <clears throat> Glory Abba, Father. Child of God, it will work out for your good, you know. It is going to work out for your good. I see somebody that is having a Mordecai experience. You don't know why they are after your life. Like, you are not even... When I mean, I don't want to use, I'm looking for the right word to use so that you don't feel offended. I'm sorry, maybe if my word in this message might be offensive. You are not even comfortable. Like you are not in a comfortable space right now. You are not in a comfortable space, but you are not complaining. You are not complaining. Like a Mordecai experience, this is what God is saying. A Mordecai experience, you, you are having that experience right now. And you can see those that are even comfortable in where they are, like that are, that are where they want to be in life. They are coming for you. That is even in a situation that is not comfortable. You understand what I'm saying? Like you are in an you are in a situation where you are not comf comfortable, but you make it look so comfortable because you just take life like this is how it is. You know, just like Modikaya. I am just releasing this message. I'm just seeing like Modikaya is sitting at the gate. This is what I'm seeing. You are just sitting there. People are passing. People are coming. People are growing. People are selling, uh, uh, selling in life. People are prospering. People are growing. Like, it's just like you are just there. Like, I am just here. And the funny part of it is that all that are growing, all that are, they are still angry with you. That is just there in that place. A Modikaya experience. A Modikaya experience. This is not a Joseph experience where you are sold out by your loved ones. This is a Mordecai experience where even strangers who are doing better are looking at you, looking for how to even take you away from that gate where you are. You know, the Bible says that Haman was angry with Mordecai. Why? The Bible never told us, that, okay, Mordecai was even insulting Haman. That was why. Or Mordecai was struggling to enter inside the palace, you know, to take the position of Haman, to introduce himself as an uncle of Esther so that the king can favor her, favor him. The Bible never told us that. The Bible said Mordecai was at the gate. Can you see it? Making uncomfortable situation comfortable. Can you see it? He was at the gate. He was not even complaining. Like, oh, I'm tired of sitting at the gate. The Bible never told us that he was tired and complaining. Mm -mm. Even when he, he said all those things that he said, that he said, these are the people that plan against the king, the thing that was written down in the book of Chronicle, where he did not have reward until the king could not sleep that night, as the Bible says. We should know the story. The Bible said the king could not sleep that night. And he ordered that the book of Chronicle, the book of remembrance, to be brought to him. You know, he has never even said, Ah, I am the one that said they should not kill the king. Oh, you people did not reward me. He must have seen all that's being rewarded. But yet, he didn't even complain. As in, you know, I'm hearing this and I'm like, what is going on? This man was just there. This is just a situation. You are just there. You are not even complaining. It's an, in an uncomfortable position. You just feel comfortable. You are like, mm. you know, but you see those that have it all. They are still attacking you, coming for you. Child of God, I am praying for you. That Mordecai experience is working out for your good. It is working out for your good because you did no wrong. You are just in your own lane. You did no wrong. Haman was angry. 
Because, okay, Mordecai was not worshipping him. What? And Mordecai have a God in heaven that he worship. Why will he worship Hama? This is just the reason. Not that Hama took away his breath. Uh, Mordecai took away his breath. Not that Mordecai took away his wife, his food, his position. Not that Mordecai went to the king and said, this is a lie against Hama. But why was he so desperate? To see Mordecai fall. <laughs> Jesus. This is wickedness. Wickedness. That is why the Bible said the hearts of men are extremely wicked. So who can lose it? You look at somebody who has five cars. Who can change cars. Whenever he wants to go to work. Monday to Sunday, they have the car, like they change clothes. They use this car today. They use this car on Tuesday. They use this car on Wednesday. That is how they use their car. You see somebody who have five, seven cars. See someone who have a bicycle. A, and maybe the person have upgraded to electric. Is it electric bicycle now that you don't have to uh, use all your power? And the person is angry. He wants to use his, his vehicle to push him down from the ve from the bicycle line. This is what I am seeing right now. People that you thought have it all. Angry because you have a little. Angry because you are still breathing. Angry because you are not worshipping them. But God is saying to somebody. Your Mordecai experience will take you straight to the palace. Hallelujah. Your Mordecai experience is about to take you straight to the king. You will meet with the king. You will not just meet with the king, but you will dine with the king and you will have your seat with the king. The Bible says Mordecai returned to the gates. Can you imagine? After he was celebrated in the whole city, after he was arraigned, this is what is done to a man that the king have desired to honor. This is what is done to a man that the king have desired to honor. This is what is done to a, a man that the king have, have chosen to honor. The Bible says after they have gone around the whole place, Mordecai returned. He didn't even complain and said, Oh, you have taken me around. Please give me, let me stay inside the palace. He still returned and he still sat down in his post. Humility. People are angry when you are humble. Contentment. People are angry when you are contented. Originality. People are angry when you are not a counterfeit. Humble. People are angry when you are not proud. Ah! But that humbleness of Mordecai took him back again inside the palace. Child of God, that Mordecai experience is working out for your good. You will find yourself in the palace. The Bible says the king now assigned the house of Hammer, the kindred of Hammer, into, he now put it in the hands of Mordecai that Mordecai should wash after everything that Hammer was washing after before. You will ask yourself, why did Hammer have to lose all of that? Why? Because of a man. Who did not do him anything. Because of you. That did not do anything to them. And they come from you. They will lose everything. They will lose everything. Because of you that they are coming against. Who did not do anything to them. They will lose everything. Hallelujah. Hear me child of God. That experience you are right now. It is working out for your good. It is working out for your good. 
it is well with you, Jesus love you, and I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.